Welcome back everyone. So today we're going to be working on exercises to improve your balance. So part of having good balance is having stronger legs to support you as you're walking and moving about throughout your day. So we are going to be using a chair in today's workout. If you want a harder version, I will add a link in the description underneath the video. So being safe today, we, you can either stand in the corner of a wall so you have the walls protecting you or just stand in front of a wall and have a chair for support. All right, grab your chair and let's get started. Our first exercise is taking a step forward and back. The trick is to put weight onto the foot so you're building strength in the legs. I'm gonna show you some different options. Option number one is holding on with both hands, stepping forward, you've got the protection of the chair here, and then pressing into that back foot. Stepping forward and pressing back. Next one, to make it a little bit harder, you can use one hand, step forward. So you're taking a little bit of a lunge and then stepping back and pressing down into that foot. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna turn my chair just so I have more space. So I'm going to do it with both hands. So stepping forward, one, and stepping back. Again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's switch to the other side. So taking a step forward, and back. So really try and concentrate on putting weight onto the foot in both directions. Four. If you need to slow it down a bit, that's okay. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. nine, and last one. Good. Okay, number two. So placing a foot in front of the other. And so I will show you the different options first. So holding onto the chair, having one foot, you don't have to have it directly in front. So this is where you really have to play with it to find what works best for you. If it's your first time, maybe have your feet a little bit wider apart but that one foot is in front of the other. So you can have the stance as wide as you want it depending on your current balance level. You will be able to bring the foot more in front as you continue to do this workout because your balance is going to improve. So choose what feels right for you, okay? So maybe that's having the foot fully in front or maybe even a little bit more in front. But let's have them a little bit staggered for now having your chair there for support. So maybe stand a little bit closer to the chair so you're almost touching the chair or you can lean into the chair if you need to. Easiest level is holding onto the chair, having the feet a little bit further apart, making it harder if you want to, bringing the foot right in front of the other and adding in the arms. So let's get started. We're gonna do it for 20 seconds. Find your stance, ready, and go. Now if you want to, lift your hands off the chair. You can bring the arms up if you want to. And there's 20 seconds. Good. Okay, switching to the other side trying to be in that same stance as you were on the other side just to make it equal and if that was way too easy then do the harder versions ready and go so hands off the chair making it more challenging if you want to it also makes it harder if you're looking in front and one more and that's it. Okay, third exercise is heel tap in front and then um, tapping your foot back. 
So again, easiest version is having both hands on the chair. You're just tapping a heel under the chair and then tapping the toes behind. If you want to make it harder, have your hands off the chair, tap the heel. This can be quite challenging. And then tap the toes behind. Try to make a light tap at the back, heel in front, tap behind. Ready? So heel, tap, heel. Always have your hands above the chair for support. Three, four. So you're probably feeling the supporting leg working hard. And let's do two more. I may have miscounted on that last one. Good, and shake it out. So you, did you feel that in that supporting leg? Probably. Okay, let's switch to the other side. So leg is slightly bent, that supporting leg, keeping that knee slightly bent. Getting ready, getting into position. Okay, so heel forward. Tap the toes behind, letting go of the chair. Two. Three. And maybe you have to hold on to the chair. That's okay. Six. Seven. Take a break when you need to. Eight. This is quite hard on that supporting leg. And last one. Holding onto the chair, standing up straight, shaking out the legs. Good. Okay, bringing a knee up and then bringing that foot back. So bring the knee a little bit to the side if you, if you want to stand close to the chair. If you can, you can stand a little bit further back. Bring the knee up so it depends on your chair and it depends on your leg length. So if you need to, bring it out to the side a little bit and then bring that foot back, tap the toe. Okay, let's get started together. <clears throat> so bringing that knee up, tap the toe. Two. So that supporting leg is slightly bent. Three. Four. And just one more. And tap. Good, bring the feet together. And then we're gonna switch to the other side. So bring yourself a little bit to the left or whatever side you're on. Bring that knee up, toes go back. Two. Three, four, and five. Good. Okay, moving our leg from front side and back. So it's like going to 12 o'clock, three o'clock, and six o'clock on a clock. So tap forward. Now, you can let go of the chair if you feel that you're able to, if you're at that comfort level. Otherwise, holding on to the chair. So ready? So tap, side, back, and together. Let's go together. Tap, out, back, and together. This is three. Looking forward to make it harder. And you can also swing the arms across if you also want to make it harder, which also takes a lot of concentration. Okay, switching to the other side. Let's do our practice one first, like we did on the other side. Letting go of the chair if you can. Tap, 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 and together. Ready? One. Two. Three. You can bring the arms up if you'd like. Four. And last one, if you want the challenge, bring the arms across. Definitely harder. Okay, going into our lateral side step. So with this one, we really want to work on strength. 
on, on pressing into that foot to build strength in legs. So you're just going to take a step to the side, press into that leg and then push back up. Okay, and then the other side, press into it. So you're doing a little bit of a squat or pressing the bum back a little bit, putting some weight on that leg and back up. Ready, let's go together or don't hold on. So press down, push up, press down, push up. Hold on if you're feeling at all unsteady. Press down and up, down and up. It may also mean just bringing a step out to the side and back up. This is four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. So stopping when you need to. Nine. And last one. And the other side. Good, okay, taking a nice deep breath in and breathing out. Okay, getting the calves stronger, we're gonna do our calf raise. So holding onto the chair, lifting the heels up as much as you can and slowly bring them back down. That's one. Up, slowly back down. Three. Four, five, going up to ten, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're just going to do a few pulses, so just bring them up a little bit faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So your calves might be burning a little bit after that. That is helping you to build strength. So let's switch and do the front. So we are lifting the toes up just one, one foot at a time. So that is going to help strengthen the front of your legs, which helps to bring your toes up as you're walking. So bringing the toes up and down, other side and down. This is two. So just keep switching back and forth. If you want to, you can let go of the chair if you feel you have that balance. Always have your hands close to the chair in case you need to grab on. And one more on each side. Good, okay going into our sit the stands. So coming in front of the chair. So a bunch of different versions here. Having the feet a little bit under the chair, pressing into your heels as you sit down, pressing into the heels as you come up. So leaning a little bit forward, push into those heels and up. Okay, let's do that together. If you wanna make it harder, just come down and up without touching the chair. Okay, let's go. Pushing into the heels, coming forward, one. And you might need to hold on to the chair and push yourself up, two. As much as you can, make the legs do a lot of the, or do all of the work if you can. But if you need to hold on, then do that until you get stronger. So stop when you need to, otherwise we're gonna do two more up to this one. And last one. Good, okay, our last one is the uh, plie squat. So having the feet wider, some different options here. You can be in front of the chair, you bring your bum down, touch the chair and come back up. Okay, so that's one option. You can also go behind the chair 
hold on to the back of the chair, bring the feet wide, bring the bum down as much as you can, and come back up. You can bring it wider or narrower, depends on what feels right. So let's go together. So having the feet a little bit wider if you're standing in front of the chair, coming down, bringing that bum back, and then coming up again and squeeze the glutes. It's also important to have strong glutes for walking. Let's go again. Down and squeeze those glutes as much as you can. Coming down and squeeze. Down, flex. We're just gonna do two more. Flex, last one, and flex those glutes. And that's it. Those are your 10 exercises for today. Thank you for joining me. Hopefully as you keep going, you're gonna progress through the different levels and then maybe you'll be able to move into the one without using the chair. Whatever works best for you. Thank you for joining me. Please subscribe if you haven't already and hit that like button. Take care everyone.